and Sikoa head coach Ross. The attacks Jim Street Warrior and Jiuhuru Kipura. And Jiuhuru Kipura is Swahili. It means the way of freedom. It is the name of the specific version of my family's uh, fighting system, which we've kept from the Kipura of Congo. Uh, Kipura is the Kikongo term that uh, the Europeans, especially the Portuguese and Brazilians, mispronounce as capoeira. And Kipura refers to the fighting styles of the rooster and, and various other agile, swift, difficult to predict unorthodox movements from various animals, including the, the various forms of simians, uh, that means monkeys, uh, the serpents, cranes, the zebra, and all forms of fluid, agile, intelligent, uh, unpredictable, but highly effective uh, uh, animal movements that we as human beings can emulate and apply with uh, intelligent, effective, efficient, and unpredictable uh, results, unpredictable insofar as the, the, the defenses attempted by our opponents are concerned. Okay, what's this topic of this video about? Well, I'm going to go ahead and come straight at a couple of things. You know, uh, there's several major misconceptions which I'm going to expound upon later, but I want to bring them up now. Uh, there's, there are some individuals, and I was just reading some of the uh, comments and emails, which total now at about 72 about this topic. Uh, people get mad that I call the dominant form, the most popular form of so-called capoeira, a cardio capoeira. They say it is not cardio capoeira. They say that they uh, make contact, etc., so on and so forth with their techniques. La da da da. No, actually, what you're doing is cardio capoeira. It's just that you do not understand the scientific and performance science definition of, of cardio in this in this uh, in this respect. We're talking about movements focused on cardiovascular fitness. Now, what you guys uh, make the mistake about is you recognize correctly, you're correct about this, that those of us who practice self-defense do indeed acquire an elite level of cardiovascular fitness in the process of practicing self-defense, you know? This is correct. You know, well, let me highlight my man's right here, Kowan. Put him on here. You guys will know about it. What's up, Kowan? Say, say hi, holla at him, man. How you doing? How you uh, doing? Come on over here, man, so the light can shine on it, all right? You know, there you go. This is my man's Kowan. You know, we're over here getting it in in Long Beach. Yes, but you already know what it is. You already know what it is. Over here at Bixby, at Bixby Park. So if you guys want to come over and get some of the community classes that we have over here. it's a lot of people that was in the class a little while ago. You can see them over. Some of them still have, uh, went over there to the, uh, let me see if I can show it on here. The skate park over here. Let me turn around. There they go. The skate park in the back. Okay. There they go. And then there's some of them. You see all their parked cars right here. And uh, there's the skate park, etc. So on and so forth. Anyway. You guys talking about uh, cardio, uh, cardio capoeira, and saying that that uh, the cardiovascular uh, fitness exercises that you're doing, you know, uh, are in fact, you know, self-defense and contact etc. So on and so forth. No, it is not the case. See, what you're conflating here is that the primary purpose of your exercises are for cardiovascular fitness. Whereas the primary purposes of our ancestors, my ancestors, his ancestors, and everybody else of African extract in, in, in the Western Hemisphere and everywhere else, everywhere else we uh, are, and anyone else who practices self-defense, anytime you're talking about a self-defense system, no matter what it is, yes, we do acquire cardiovascular fitness as a mandatory uh, 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 effect of such training, but it's not the purpose of such training. In other words, you guys who are doing cardiovascular fitness are, are, are saying, well, with our cardiovascular fitness exercises, our movements, our kicks, our acrobatics, what have you, uh, yeah, that helps us do self-defense, you know, and you know, and, and, and guys who fight have to have good cardiovascular fitness, and so, so yeah, yeah, you know, uh, we're, you know, we, you know, we're, we're not doing cardio capoeira, we're, we're doing capoeira. No, you're not. That's like saying, that's like mistaking a Chibo practitioner for a Navy SEAL. They both have outstanding uh, uh, cardio, but the Navy SEAL's cardio is designed for self-defense. The Chibo practitioner's cardio is designed for weight loss, for, for some form of, 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 of generally low to mid-level functional movement and low to mid-level flexibility, if any flexibility at all. 
okay? Whereas our training is designed to encompass everything that you guys think you're doing and a whole lot more. Another thing, when you're making contact with while you're practicing cardio capoeira, it is not fight training. That's called contact cardio capoeira. You're doing stuff, you're doing the same dysfunctional stuff that doesn't work in a fight, okay? And now you're just hitting somebody with it. Who's allowing you to hit them with it because they're not punching your head off when you're trying that stuff. They're not pulling a knife out when you're trying that stuff. They're not tackling you when you're trying that stuff. You're, you're, you're not, you know, like, see, see, see where KJ is right here? I could be over here doing my movement right here doing this. And then, you know, in self-defense, the guy behind you will pop me. Hit, hit me. You know, boom. All right? You're not practicing against that. Because that is what the kind of thing you'd have to deal with in actual self-defense which neither you nor your mestre know anything about. And no, in Africa we did not call our teachers mestres because Portuguese is not our indigenous language. Hmm. Maybe the indigenous language of people who speak Portuguese is Portugal! <gasps> and these guys were our enemies. Point blank! They were the people who were coming over here trying to enslave us, and who we were killing in massive numbers. And no, they didn't beat us in war, we beat ourselves, but that's a different story. That's for a different video. Okay? My point to you, all of you who are getting your, your all of you squambonies who are getting your panties in a bunch about this, is simply please study basic science. Study basic common sense. Okay? It, I'm not disrespecting you when I'm making these comments. I really am not. I'm not looking to do that. It's not my idea or anything like that. But it's just basic common sense, okay? Army Rangers will not be will not be mistaken for a yoga class. Period. Period. There's a lot of MMA guys who have outstanding cardio. You will not think John Jones, all right, is one of you 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 your you you acrobatic holder flipper cats. You're over there just flipping around and holding. That's great. That's fantastic. Do that. Have fun. Enjoy it. Okay? But own it. Own it. Don't pretend that it's something that is not. Don't go around telling people that you practice that th what you're doing is in any way comparable for self-defense. You're not doing anything for I mean, I, I don't even want to bring up self-defense in this video right here because that brings up whole sets of, of considerations that you guys know nothing about. It's not even, you're not even doing the, the things that, that, uh, that you're aware of that Kipura the Warriors did. You know that Kipura warriors were experts in the use of blades. How come you don't train them? You know that Kipura warriors, all right, were famous for the use of the very same gun disarm, which I showed in my video, which is viral. They used it in the trilateral war, you know, involving Paraguay. They also used it, you know, with the, in the uh, kingdom of Ndongo, the kingdom, kingdom of Soyo, the kingdom of Matamba, the kingdom of Congo used it. Uh, with their allies, you know, their former vassal state and, and current, and, and at that time, allies, uh, the Kingdom of Soyo, you know, in the Battle of Kitombo in 1670 in October, and eradicated the largest and most powerful uh, enslaving army in the history of the world up to that time, and included the use of these gun disarms. I taught my version, the one that you guys see on videos, you know, uh, 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 to the general masses since the year 2000, and it's been used successfully all 19 times that it's been used, that it's been applied since the year 2000. The most recently was just about a month ago. How come you guys haven't learned any of that? How come you haven't learned anything about ground fighting and ground grappling? How come you haven't done that? You're probably going, well, we don't grapple. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. The people who were talking about the Kingdom of Congo and in that whole area, the, the Africans in general, they're the people who invented submission grappling. If you want to be 100 with it, the sport of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is Kumanyana Kipura, wrestling-oriented Kipura, without the strikes and weapons. That's what it is. It's just ground-oriented. That's it. Without the throws, without the stand-up submissions, without the weapons applied from in close, without the headbutts and all that other good stuff. And those of you who have practiced and become in any way proficient with the movement arsenal, of my ancestors' art. You know, the one I'm telling you is just simply the truth. Some of you may have a fit about it. You're like, no, it's not. Well, okay, yeah, well, I'm going to show you.
I'm gonna, yeah, I know. You know, I've done this before. <laughs> He's laughing because I've done this before. I've done this before. He's seen me do it to people before, and I'm gonna do it to you. All oh, those of you who, do, who who have a problem with grasping it, great. This gives us an opportunity to talk, interact, have a teachable moment. That means I'm gonna be teaching you. All right, you Squam Bonies are gonna learn stuff from me, the Street Warrior. All right, from my aspiring Street Warrior right here, Kawan, outstanding, and intelligent young man. You know, recent college graduate. Tell him, tell him where you graduated from. Third University, Miami, Florida. What? Accounting. What? Tell them. Tell them. They're not ready for that. IQs on full effect up in here. Okay? So, uh, <laughs> you guys, holla at me. All right? You have any questions or comments? Leave it at the end of this video. Be prepared because I'm going to come, I'm just going to pull the squammy on all you squam bonies. All right? And teach you guys things that you need to know. And it's not from a, from an arrogant or, or aggressive or disrespectful perspective, but really from the opportunity to teach, to learn, and to undo, undo all of the propaganda, miseducation, cultural misappropriation, and all the other Asians and Andas, you know, <laughs> that shouldn't have happened. Everything that's in, you know, uh, Clinton's uh, a, a basket of deplorables. No, we, you know, we're not even talking about a basket of deplorables. We're talking like a whole shopping center. Just deplorable everything. The streets are deplorable. This is horrible. All right? We're going to go ahead and fix all of that. All right? Got any questions or comments? I'll let your boy. It's the Street Warrior, Head Coach Ross of the Tax Gym, Street Warriors, and Gio Huru Kipura, the way of freedom. Okay? Take care of yourself. Catch you square ponies on a flip flop. One more time for my man's for one. Bye. See you. All right. <laughs> Outs.